Yo, what's up guys? This is your sailor friend, the Merchant Navy guy. And today we are going to talk about generator decap. Now you must be thinking there are already a lot of videos from the makers themselves about generator decap. Then why should you watch my video? It's because in this video, I'm going to cover how do you prepare for a generator decap from a practical point of view as a third engineer or as the engineer in charge of generators. Now, most of you guys don't know that on my last ship, Shandong Zihe, I got promoted to the rank of third engineer, which meant that taking care of boilers and generators was my responsibility now. And the number one generator was due for decarb. Now on a big job like decarb, all the engine room staff comes together. You're supervised by your seniors, you're assisted by your juniors. So usually the job ends up in a success. But as a duty engineer, as the engineer in charge, of the machinery, your job is to make sure that the job goes as smooth as possible. Minimize the chaos and running around during the decarb. Keep all the spare parts ready with reference pages from the manual. And I'm here to tell you exactly how to achieve all of that with these simple steps. Number one, take the spare part inventory and make sure you have all the consumables required for the decarb. You will find most of the required consumables in these two, three drawings. After making sure you have these, go to the generator physically and check what else you might need. Like here, we need O-rings for the scaven space, gaskets for the jacket cooling water pipe, and a few bolts for the exhaust fronting. After making sure you have everything required for the decarb, including the special tools, it's time to prepare the generator in question. Now, if your generator in question is running, great. But if it's in stop condition, start the generator. Change over the fuel from heavy fuel oil to marine gas oil and then take the generator offload, let it cool down for some time and then stop the generator. Now take the control from remote to blocking. Now when you put it in blocking, the ready to start light should go off. Next you go to start air wall and shut it, lock it if possible. You will also need to turn off the lube oil priming pump, the HT water preheater if provided. If your vessel schedule allows you to do so, you should do all of this the day before the decarb so that the oil from different parts of the generator is like dripped down and collected in the sump. After you have done all of this, don't forget to lock out and tag out the starting panel of the generator, both in the ECR and locally. Well, that's about it. Now you can start opening your generator. If you guys have any more pointers that can help someone to prepare better for a decarb, don't forget to put them in the comment section below. If you have any questions or video requests, you can put them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer every single one of them. Until next time.